Hi, I'm David Kerr. I'm Professor of Cancer Medicine at University of Oxford. I've been a cancer doctor for ooh, 25 years now. I work as a researcher, I work as a physician looking after patients. But I'm interested in health policy and seeing what we can do to use our own resources, our intellect, our drive, our energy to help cancer sufferers elsewhere in the world. And in one way that's why we started Afrox. As a doctor, for me, the greatest gift is a gift of life. And although I've done a lot of work um, with our own research, nudging um, improvements in cancer survival forward here in the UK, if, if we get it right, if we can deliver some semblance of decent cancer services in Africa, in my lifetime, together we'll save tens of thousands of lives. What a gift for any doctor. So that, that's why I'm in it. Um, with my great friend Alan Milburn, the Right Honourable Alan Milburn, um, perhaps who was our most innovative Secretary of State for Health since Nye Bevan, um, we set up Afrox together. It's a small charity based in Oxford with a view to delivering improved cancer care in Africa. Why, you might imagine, is this a problem? Because everybody thinks that cancer is a disease of the north, of the west, of the rich, of the wealthy, of the elderly. But actually, by 2020, 70% of all new cancer cases in the globe will be in the developing world. This is extraordinary and, and an important fact that we must get out there on the streets as it were and and not only that even as we speak at the moment there are more deaths from cancer in the world just now every year than there are from AIDS tuberculosis and malaria combined so this is a an important huge global burden of disease and those countries which are going to be faced most with it our brothers our sisters our cousins in the developing world are those who are least well prepared to face it because with the very limited health resources available it's very difficult as you can imagine to prioritize cancer which at the moment feels as if it's a hidden killer and um, in many African dialects there's no name for cancer and um, women don't know they're suffering from it and when I do clinics in Africa many of the patients I see uh, adults children come with massively massively advanced tumours and patients only often with days or weeks of life left because because they've neglected the cancer for so long, not knowing what it is, being unable to name the beast. The cancer takes deep roots and takes a strong hold and therefore if you want to do something about cancer, Afrox is about improving cancer planning and delivering across a spectrum of cancer care awareness raising, early detection, screening, prevention, anything that we can do around tobacco or vaccines for cervical cancer. Of course treatment and, and our focus is on cure the curable. And the final bit of the jigsaw across the spectrum of cancer care is of course care at end of life, palliative care. And, and again when I go to do clinics often all that I have to offer patients with these massively, massively advanced tumour burdens who are just in such pain and suffering is a paracetamol that I carry in my soap bag. We take morphine as a given and morphine is a terribly useful end of life drug that allows me to promise my patients that they won't suffer excruciating pain. In many African countries morphine is just simply not available. So that's Afrox, it's a tall tale, it's a huge challenge and Alan and I have worked closely together in the past wrestling with the vicissitudes and challenges of the National Health Service. They pale into insignificance compared to that which we want to do in Africa. So join us. Um, it will be a fascinating journey, it's an unpredictable one, it's a trek I guess because it will be long and arduous but the the prize, the gift of life looms so large, I would urge you all to join us and volunteer for Afrox.